This is an overview of VCast Colorado 2024. I'm gonna do my best not to swear during the video, so it's gonna sound super censored. Since we don't have a headquarters location, every course that we do starts with a travel, a little journey. We spend a lot of time at airports, on airplanes, and in this case, we met up with Scotty in Colorado at the airport. We picked up our bags, grabbed the rental car, Scotty played around with the wildlife for a little bit. After checking into our really nice Airbnb, we headed to the training site. Since this class is for alumni only, everyone training with us has done so before, so it's kind of like seeing family, except you actually want to see them and there's no one there that you particularly hate. We start the first part of the evening with what we call vehicle agility. The goal is to develop some automaticity in how you interact with the car, such as opening the door, taking your seatbelt off. When you start adding stress, putting things in your hand, tools, guns, those simple things become a lot more complex. We slowly add resistance by playing a game. Should I stay or should I go? Your partner rushes your car, do you get out of the car or do you retreat into the side and do a cross ID bus? We start the next day with live fire. It takes a few minutes to get the vehicle set up in this angular fashion, but it allows us to have everyone shooting at the exact same time without flagging the people in front of them. The goal here is not a discussion of tactics, whether you should shoot from inside the vehicle or not. It's can you safely if you needed to shoot the gun or maneuver within the vehicle while you have other people inside with you. A bonus for Scotty and I with these smaller classes filled with experienced guys is instructor development time. We both had turns issuing range commands and giving minor corrections with Craig mentoring us along the way. Following the live fire portion of the day, we get rid of all the live guns, do a nice pat down, we switch out for training guns, and then we reinforce the need for automaticity in the mundane tasks. When we say go, you gotta get out of the car as fast as you can, unbuckle, get your gun out, and deliver effective rounds into your buddy without impacting anyone who's observing the simulation. This is where you have consequences for not mastering the basics. We see guys get caught up in the seatbelt, fail to open the door, fumble the draw, or face plant on the way out. Final event of day one is a full spectrum evolution. Evolutions are non-scripted, random simulations where one person is the focus of the evolution and everyone else is working together to facilitate their training. In VCast, your evolution is a fender bender and you're at fault. You're carrying concealed and you have your significant other in the vehicle with you. You come to a stop accidentally bumping the vehicle in front of you that's occupied by two people who may or may not be armed and they can do whatever they want to do once the evolution starts. Yeah, well, that's my fucking kid driver. You just fucking hit him. Yeah, you better get your fucking insurance out and get on the fucking hood right now. Let's go. Yeah, that's great. I'm trying to fuck keep my kid from getting run over by assholes and pickup trucks like you. Let's go. Let's get your fucking insurance out. Get your fucking insurance out. Let's go. Whoa, what the fuck? Jesus. Double tap in the titties. <laughs> We start day three of the course with focusing on interactions within the triangle, the space between the door and the vehicle. That's a terrible place to get caught. It's very easy to get pushed into the vehicle, dragged to the floor, or pinned up against the A-pillar. Our general strategy when we're standing in the triangle is to drive into them, turn them to open space, or put their back against the vehicle so we can execute our more formal grappling strategy. Next, we get to my favorite part of the course, fighting inside a vehicle. It's really a cross between rock climbing and jujitsu. The hierarchy of positions change when you're in three-dimensional space and you have the ability to push off the ceiling, push off the A-pillar, push off the dashboard. You can create and generate immense amounts of pressure by creating a lot of anchor points or connections to the vehicle and applying that force to small pinpoint locations against the other person. We refer to this idea as pinning, and that's our primary strategy when we're inside of the vehicle. 
We give everyone plenty of time to explore and more or less flow roll within the vehicle. Scotty and I never miss an opportunity to roll around inside of a vehicle and it's a good time. After everyone has a basic understanding of how to work with inside the vehicle, we throw the helmets on, grab the T-guns, grab some training knives, and then we do an evolution inside of the vehicle with as much pressure and resistance as we safely can within training. And that's a rough overview of VCAS Colorado 2024.